Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitch with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Well, as you can see, we have another bagging. That means we have another review. Let's find out what's inside of the bag. Okay. Kind of a poofy bag. Let's see what we got going. Let's move the scissors before Laura cuts herself. Oh my goodness. All right. This bag comes from DIY Digital Art. And we'll just start with what is up on top. This is a 14 count, 34 by 47. Seven dollars and 76 cents. Let me get it out of its bag. Oh my goodness. Well, we're trying. You know how those bags are. Yeah, I thought this was cute. And I don't know if they have any others, so uh, there was nothing else in this series. I mean, you know, like when you click on it, it doesn't have four or five types or whatever, I don't think. But very nice. Very nicely done. It's called Fruit Shop. Two product numbers. It is a stamped cross stitch. So 34 by 47. It's going to be fairly big. It has a nice big um, paper pattern. Paper pattern on this one will not match the canvas. Symbols are different for the canvas as they're some different here. This has 32 colors. So we have 31 colors in full stitch. We only have one half cross stitch. We have a French, one French knot, which is in that new 310 black, which is 3799. They've been using a lot of, like I said, there must be a shortage at 310 black. And it has seven colors in back stitching. So, but it is a partial and here they have broken it down, so each of those numbers represents a page. So this up here, this little section at the top is number six, so it goes right here. But uh, we have no 310 black, no 550 purple, no 823, no 939, none of the usual suspects. And for white, they're using B5200, and I already told you about that 3799. So, I think it's going to be just fine. On this side, it says it's 149 by 214. But yeah, and I'm glad it's in a 14 count, and you can see some of the extensive... Yeah, the grill work up here. Let me see if I can show you better on the picture. The grill work up there, you have some writing here. You have some back stitching around all this, a little back stitching back here and up on the flowers and on this little board. So, I don't know, it'll be, it says rosies. I think that's what that word is. Could be Rosalie's uh, delicatessen, but very nice. Yeah, I just like the way it all looked. I'm trying to keep my paper here. So it keep it all together. But very well printed. Very easy to see. Doesn't look too terribly uh, confetti. You know, things are in kind of rivers. Typical-ish joy, joy Sunday. So very nicely done. You know, if you have to go and look for something. I always, sometimes... For the back stitching, I actually have to look at it to see how it's all laid out. But you'll do the, all the cross stitch first, you know. So, shouldn't have a problem. Very soft canvas. I'm trying to get to the thread. It's like buried here. So, this is one of those cards where the, the red numbers, I don't know if you can see that. The red numbers are how many strands you have, then you have the DMC number, and then below that, right above the hole, is the number for the thread card. 
does come with two needles and the product number is right here the, I'm sorry I'm taking them apart just so we can see colors beautiful greens oranges you have some like reddish orange there's that uh, 377 3799 holy cow we can't talk today and browns kind of mauve color kind of a pale purple just beautiful colors bright and vivid so very nice and nice soft thread so that's always good put that up there and let's move everything else out from underneath me. So, nice and big, very well printed, smooth canvas, surged all the way around. And this one's kind of lightweight, it's kind of thin, but I don't know, sometimes the thinner the better, it's easier to hang on to. And here is your key for the canvas, so you would follow these symbols for the canvas. So you have your regular stitches, your French knot, your half cross stitch, and your back stitches. I'm going to turn it sideways. So it's got some nice big areas. It's got smaller areas too, but not a lot of confetti. I mean, that that's a good thing. Holy cow. So this should be an easy stitch as far as the cross stitch goes. You don't have to think too hard. It's the back stitching that's gonna be the thing so let's see we have um, a yeah, little over 18 and a quarter inches or 46 and a half centimeters and this way is 35 centimeters or 13 and three quarters this is actual size it's almost 11 inches or 27 and a half centimeters by 15 and a quarter inches or 38 and a half centimeters so it's not too big you don't have to do the back background just that whole building affair I think it's lovely I just love these buildings and this one's bigger than the other one that was the tea shop so the tea shop was about we'll say not 8 by 10 by any means, but I don't know what that is. Maybe 8 or 10 inches across, but it was kind of long and skinny. So this one's a lot bigger. And I think this one's even bigger than the clothing boutique thing that I got. I like it, too. I put it away for right now. I'll work on it, you know, in the summer or the spring or whatever. Because it's a perfect size to... To fit out, you know, fit on your lap in the summertime, that boutique one. Ugh. I needed a drink. I'm running out of spit. All right. So, the next one is a 40 by 55 and it was $9.75. Let me get it out of its bag. All right. This is a DIY cross stitch. And look at those poppies. Can you ever? They're just so gorgeous. I don't care if it's a DIY. I have some really good kits from DIY. I'm looking for its paper. So this has 33 colors product number, how big it is, and it's 129 by 194 stitches. This would definitely need to be blown up. They could have made that just a little bit better, but I'm glad they have 33 colors in this because they're going to need it. And it's full coverage. I'm looking. Colors what we have are 310 black. We have 321, which is my Christmas red. That's what I call it. We have 498. We have several sh shades of red. 498, which is the brick red. We have 817 red, 900 red, 823, 939, 
No three three. Oh, we have three three seven one. I'm so sorry. Um, and no three eight six five or white. So we'll have to see what they're using for white. There shouldn't be too much white in this unless it's like right here on the highlights. So we'll see what they did with that. But I just thought that was gorgeous. Uh, can't resist poppies. Like them. Poppies, peonies, pansies, you know, all the pink. Pink flowers, <laughs> pink roses. All right, so we have a full skein here, and I have no idea, I've never seen this before, of number 350, and it's kind of an orangish color. It looks really like clown orange in the thing, but it's got a little bit of tone of black to it, you know, where it's toned down, so it's not bright, vivid orange, so I'm not sure what that's for. But look at all the reds. If you are a red lover, this is your game. Look at that. Look at all that. Three, ten, black. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Very, very pretty. This is uh, 3771. Look at that tealish blue. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And we have a little purple. And we have that, of course, uh, 823. This over here is 939, so it must be working the background. So, very pretty. 350. 350. Huh. I don't know. Kind of odd, because none of that matches. I, oh, maybe it's here. I was like, there's usually one thread. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Whoops. Hold on, there'll be a delay. I am hooked up in the needles. Hang on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, it comes with two needles, no tool kit. They were right there. So we'll just try to be careful. This is not surged all the way around. But it is ginormous. Very big, beautiful key. You even have a Fairly good size picture there. But as you can see, the symbols are... Let me fold it just so you're not looking all the way through it. Very easy to see. And I have no problem with these kits at all. It does kind of have a surged edge. Not surged. Salvage edge. That's the word. It was an S word. So let's see how big it is. It's supposed to be 40 by 55, so it is 56 centimeters. Usually, if you get a salvage edge, they give you a little bit more, but there's really no need because the margins are like two to three inches wide. It's awesome. So, 55 and a half centimeters, or almost 22 inches this way. It is 40 centimeters or 15 and three quarter inches. The actual picture size is, oh, a little over 29 and a half centimeters or almost uh, 11 and three quarters by 17 and a half inches or 44 and a half centimeters. So it's good size, but it has. I love it because it has big areas. You can just sit down and stitch on this puppy. And the colors are just stupendous. So, yeah. Sometimes DIY kits are awesome. And, you know, I like that they did more than 25 colors. So, it's going to be very detailed. Just beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. Yeah, I'm going to leave them there because it didn't come with a toolkit and I don't have an extra little baggie to put them in. So they're just going to stay there for five minutes. All right. So the next one is a 40 by 40. It was $8. And I will get it out of the bag. All right. So as you can see, it is a Christmas wreath. We have pine cones and ribbons and... 
I'm assuming that's holly and berries in blue and red. This is by that, that new company. So you have your product number up here at the top. And if they got it smooshed in there sideways. Very huge pattern. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be confetti. Manetti. All right, 39 by 39. It said 40 by 40 on the thing. It's 147 by 147. Let's look at the colors. We have 823. No, 550 purple. 310 black. 823. Uh, no, 939. No, 3371. No, 3770. And for the background, we have 3865, which you can do or not do. That's up to you. Nice, big, huge pattern. I don't... more Other than being wrinkled, there are no smudges or smears or anything like that. Very nicely done. Very big. Easy to see symbols. Gorgeous. Yep, I'm really loving this new company. They they tend to get it right every time. So, it also comes with five needles, poop ball, thimble, and needle threader. And, oh my gosh, I can't handle it. It's a butterfly instead of a tiger. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at those colors. Hang on. We're going to have to give it a, a poof. So, you got lots of 3865. It's kind of just dominating everything. Let's look at all those other colors. Gorgeous. I have enough 3865 to open up my own shop somewhere that just sells B5200, 310 black, or 3865. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at those teals and turquoises. Beautiful dark blue and the reds. This is going to have to get that other color out of there. Doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? But yeah, it's just beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. So we're going to put everything back. Hold, please. All right, I am back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be... Confetti, Manetti, 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 spaghetti. Holy cow. But it's very well printed. I'm going to fold it in half and hold it as still as possible. Paper pattern will match the canvas. Canvas is very well printed, but my goodness gracious. It is confetti everywhere. Shoot. There's a few little places trying to be positive, you know. Let's measure this puppy. It does have the product number, and down at the bottom it does say the same thing that the paper pattern said. So, it is, whoop, if I can get it there, 40 centimeters by 39 and a half or 15 and a half inches actual picture size is 13 and a quarter inches or 33 and a half centimeters by 33 and a half centimeters or oh almost 13 and a quarter inches so yeah it'll be gorgeous when it's done but yeah hmm it is just it's very well done. Nice, thick canvas. It is surged all the way around. So very well, well printed. Yeah. So I guess it's going to be fairly detailed. Just because. I don't know. Sometimes I think it's all con, you know, confetti. And then when I get it up close, close to me, it's not so bad, you know. But yeah, this is. Confetti. Yeah. All right. So that is all I got from DIY Digital Art. Thank you, DIY Digital Art, for sending me these beautiful kits. Now, 
they do have cross stitch diamond painting and uh, paint by number they have tools and crafts for all that they have a separate joy sunday section and they also have gauze embroidery and regular embroidery yeah i bought a way back it was going to be a little fan it was gauze embroidery i went oh hell no i opened that up and went oh, no yeah i had no clue what i was doing because i've never done gauze embroidery but i'm not starting on something that's this small because gauze embroidery i believe needs to be tacked to a wooden frame or i don't know how well that i don't know how to do it i i don't know the process so yeah and it was all printed on there but no yeah so if you're that adventurous type go for it but yeah i would start with something a little bit bigger that you can actually see what's going on yeah no i won't make that mistake again it's like nope we're kind of done but yeah i don't know it might have gone okay but yeah it just scared the heck out of me so Anyway, if DIY Digital Art has any specials going on, or if I have a discount code, the discount code will begin in the beginning of the, the video. And I will also put information down in the description box below. Thank you, DIY Digital Art. I love this store. I have never had a problem, and if I did, they fixed it right away and you know and just we just went on and they sent me what I needed I can't remember ever having a problem with them from this point thank you everyone for joining me today I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye Keep stitching.